What's good? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel traders. I hope everyone is having a safe trading week. Back with the daily content. As I said before, you can't stop me now. Trust me. My mindset's times 10,000. I've got goals that I want to achieve. And that's what I'm going to start with. How to actually be successful with trading Forex. Because I see so much of these videos when I'm doing my React channel. And when I'm looking around, I'm thinking, yo, these people with the Lamborghinis and stuff, they're not... They're not showing it organically. They're just showing their perfect lifestyle with their fake brokers and fake withdrawals. And it doesn't doesn't quite make sense. And when you when you start to investigate into other traders that you see, and it is one of those things where seeing is believing. If I went and kept posting my car, kept posting high amounts of profits, for example, I'm in a trade right now, minus 2.5K. You know, that's fine. A lot of people, they just take losses after losses after losses and they don't show organicness. So I want to teach you how to actually be successful. Five tips, five tips to help everyone that's watching right now advance into becoming a better trader, but also a better person. Trading, and this is what I've learned, it, it's a mind game. It's a, literally a mind game against yourself. You're battling against the charts as well, but realistically, it's just you. It's your own self. The devil inside yourself can either destroy you or ruin you. And there's two different types. Destroying is when you hit a sell. Ruin you is when you start getting the credit cards out. You start getting the loans out. You start, you know, losing prop firm challenges within the first day, within the first hour. There's self-destruct mode. Now, without further ado, if you are new, subscribe, like the content if you enjoy. Watch till the end. And yeah, let's start these tips off, baby. Woo! First tip. And this is the first most important tip you have to understand that you're not going to make it within the first year within the first two years within the first you know two and a bit years and if you are going to you've either got to be grinding every single day watching the charts i swear on my life when i started trading properly i woke up at 7 a.m and i was looking at the charts till 10 p.m that is unhealthy it's an unhealthy way to trade, but I did it. I did it, I grew my socials, I grew my trading strategy, and I learned how to view the charts. Now, I don't advise doing this, most people have jobs, everyone's got shit to do in life, I get it. Don't have to look at the chart 24 seven, but you need to have the right guidance and trust yourself. Now, you're following all these people, or just yourself in general, right? So, yourself in general, so this is why yourself can be your biggest enemy. Now. You're going in to a trade, you have belief. But the problem is, it all depends on the time of the trade, what session you're trading, how the how the markets move. Is there gonna be any news? People don't look into this. Before entering the markets, right? So it's 16, gold is 16.51. The time is 10 to 11 in the morning. Now, your psychology, now I only learned this because I've been training for a long time. Your psychology, if it's gonna sell off, it has to sell within the next few minutes. Otherwise, it's not gonna sell. Because when you're looking at the 1H, you have to end bearish, or you have to end in some sort of, if you're in a sell, it has to go up, then come back down. And it's a bit like ICT. Um, if you haven't looked at them sort of strategies, look it up, but you know, they're all similar, like the smart money concept, price action, supply and demand zones, all of this sort of thing with trading, it all boils down to one thing, market directions, where the price of a trade is going to go to. Now, a lot of people over risk, and that could be a big problem. But a big problem is entering into the market at the wrong times. A lot of people enter in during a 1H bearish candle, they'll enter a buy. Wait till the next candle, wait till the next 1H, because if you can wait until the one, next 1H, it's gonna come back and retest. Only on news, you're unlikely to see a retest. You'll see a wick out and then that's it, it's gone. The other way, change directions. That's manipulation. One key thing that I learned is looking at when you're actually entering the market with time. And that is number one start doing that and start judging yourself on why am i going to enter at 58 minutes past one why am i going to enter just before a new hour opens of a session which is new york and it's going to be explosive impulsive you you shouldn't and it's gambling and once you start observing timings on these markets i trust me your trading will get so much better because you will understand how the markets is noise and the timings, when you get the right timings on certain trades, it's just, you just finish the system because in the end of the day, you're seeing, you're seeing the fake, the fake buys, you know, you know, you've got two minutes left, you know trades, trades gonna go up, come back down, go back up, then come back down again. So you're just gonna wait. 
you're gonna wait because you're gonna see some wick out. And that's it, our people over risk and over leverage. Getting in at the right time is just the most important thing about trading. So let me give you an example for this trading strategy. When you're looking at gold on this phone, okay? You're seeing the 1H pull back, wick below lower highs, and then this 1H come up to retest previous lower high on this candle pattern here. If you guys can see that. Now, we know it's 10.52. It's 10.52 in the morning. Because this trade has already gone up, the huge bearish engulfing candle here at 9 a.m., this could be fake sales. Could be fake sales. 9 a.m. fake sales into longs. That can take place. But you know that if it is a sell, within the next eight minutes, the, the candle has to sell below 1650 which is a major level in gold now we know i know if my trades are sell we're going back to the lower high that this 1h already formed at 1648.60 we know that even though it's not showing it right now and we've got seven minutes until the candle actually finishes and closes we're still holding out because we're still believing that the 1h is bearish we've come up to retest but we know the next seven minutes time is going to be the time where it sells off now during this video, I'll come back and I'll show you what actually happens within the next seven minutes. But if I am correct with timing, I know that we're gonna see a nice big sell off and then it continue to bearish engulf down. Let's see what happens. Moving on to the next one. Probably the most boring one that everyone fucking knows and no one does. But I'm gonna tell you why it's important, but how you need to change your mindset. And that's all it is to people watching right now. You need to just take the information in and just do it. Just, Just do it. Do, do what it. I'm saying. Myself. Oh, look at my free trade. I hit SLs. I ain't scared to hit SLs. I don't care. It is what it is. FOMOing into multiple positions, yes, can be very dangerous, especially when using a tight SL. But when you start off, just use 50 pip SLs. Who cares? Who actually cares? Use 0.5% risk and 50 pip SLs. In the end of the day, you're still taking Ws. You take 20 in a row of 50 pip SLs. Obviously, it can be tricky, you know, in the end of the day, managing your risk can be hard, but the more you over risk, it isn't going to get anywhere, and you just need to be able to control yourself with trading. A bit like gambling, but with the same sort of inner, like dopamine high, let's see. When you're in a trade, you see a lot of profit, then it goes back to minus. Your like, brain's going all over the place because you're hitting SL, but you're not hitting SL, you're losing money, you're winning money. And then all of a sudden, it just starts being like a downhill, self-destruct sort of thing. And I've had it so many times where you just self-destruct. You start over-leveraging, over-risking, bang, 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 you're gone. And then you're depressed, you don't know what to do, so you give up. Then you come back to the industry, you go again, and it's the same cycle. And it's a fucking deadly cycle. It's just like gambling. It's just... If you've been addicted to gambling and you're now a forex trader, you know it's the same sort of highs. You know you're getting the same dopamine hits from trading forex to gambling. Therefore, you have to try and change the mindset that you use with trading in terms of long, long terms, one trade a week. Have to keep disciplined in life in general, but with trading, it is discipline. If you are losing 10% in an hour, you're dead. You're dead. If you're losing 5% in a day, you've got a problem with yourself. Like, facts, you have a problem. If you're losing 3% in a day, it could just be an off day, but you can't live substantially like that. If you're not having wins and you're just taking losses, there has to be something wrong. And it could be your trading, but most of the time, it's not even people's trading. Because trading is all about longevity. It's about taking your time, hitting the trade slowly but surely. But when you're looking back on your, your history for the month and you're seeing 50 plus trade, you know that that's not trading. And that is the difference. There's a massive difference between gambling and trading, which a lot of people struggle to actually comprehend because they don't want to admit that they've got a problem with gambling instead of actually trading. And this is where it goes wrong a lot of the time for people, even like myself when I first started, like hand on heart. I remember putting in like a thousand dollars, getting it to 10, 20 grand, and then, you know, just goes the wrong way. You lose it all. 
And I was 18 at that point. I'm now 24, nearly 25. So you can just imagine throughout that 18 year old to the 24 year old myself, how much growth I've had to do. And I'm not saying I'm there yet. You know, I, I've got big goals, big aspirations, but I know that I have to look on myself and self develop in order to achieve what I want to achieve. And my goals are high. I will never achieve that if I can never improve as a self individual. And that's a top tip. It is all about self awareness, self development and improving yourself. And hand on heart if you did that journal journal your trades and improve then you will be smashing life honestly like life in general but also trading your mind will be clear you're not a gambler you're a trader trade like a trader moving on to the next one how to not over trade now when when over trading it's quite simple have rest days don't trade every day you can't keep up trading every day it just gets too mentally draining like i said the dopamine hits dopamine rushes they affect you massively. You can only have like two psychological emotion decisions made in the human brain every single day. When you lose a trade, you've got one trade next left. You're in and out, you trade twice in a day, that's it, you're done for. Obviously, people are gonna make money, they're gonna say, no, that's not true. But guys, I don't know about you, but it's emotionally draining, like the actual trading. It can put you in the shittest mood ever. And that, that's why you gotta think, I can't be gambling. I can't be over risking, over leveraging, get emotionally attached to trading. When you walk away from these charts, you have to just be clear-minded, a different person. When you walk in there, you're the pip destroyer. When you come out of reality of the trading, the trading, you are then, you know, yourself. And that's a big thing. It's, it's finding the balance between trading, lifestyle. And if you struggle with that, I struggle with it too, so that's absolutely fine. You know, we can both struggle with that. Trading can get me down. I said I don't care about losses and I don't, but I've got other people relying on me too. And also, I've got to fund my life through trading. So if I don't make withdrawals, then I don't make money. But it's not even about the losses. It's about the after effect. You know, should have, could have, would have. Could have done that, didn't do it. Should have made profit, haven't made profit. I'm just watching the trade just in case because... Uh, we come, we come close to the SL bar, you know, we're moving, we're moving, we're chilling, we're chilling. And it's one of those where you can, if you look at yourself in the mirror, you got to just say, yo, this is trading, this is my life. This is home, this is work. And it's still, it's the same thing, it's work still. Just because you're trading from your house, your phone, it's work. It's still mentally draining. You are going to find challenges. It's going to be a struggle. But we overcome that. We overcome that by acknowledging what's going on with ourselves, how we are react to our losses, how we react to our wins. Does does the dopamine in our brain go up or higher? And how how can we you know enjoy our day even when we've lost two percent? And that's a big thing because you will self destruct if you think what how I'm talking. Exactly what I'm saying here. If that ruins your day hitting minus two percent, you're down for. You're you can't live your life like that. Because every day you you it's a, let's say when you go to work, you hate it. You can't live your life like that. if you went into work angry, annoyed with yourself, then stop making them mistakes. And that's the same with trading. If you're angry, frustrated, just pissed off with yourself, because you just you know you're there, but you're just not there. And and most people are there but just not there. They just need to take that extra step and it's a self-development step and i hate to keep going on about self-development but as soon as you're aware of what i'm talking about and hopefully a lot of people this helps because i just want to try and help as much as you guys as i can not wasting your money learning from what i've learned and yeah it's a psychological battle with yourself and with the market but in the end of the day it's all about hitting the right trades it's all about being consistent it's all about making the money risk managing yes yeah, about overall being happy and content with your progress most people will make two three grand and not be happy like passing a 10 percent challenge 10 percent insanely hard to get realistically speak on a 200k account it's 20k if you did that on a funded account everyone in this video right now watching is laughing their heads off popping a bottle of champagne open but you've got to try and get 15 percent and then do another phase like even on a thousand dollar account one percent ten dollars you know, you make 10%, $100. Are you going to be happy with that $100? Probably not, but it's 10% of your account. If you're a millionaire and you're making 10%, you're you're making 100 k And it's one of those things where literally, like I said, it's how you view it, how you picture it in your mind, what you allow yourself to give yourself. It's all to do with how you judge yourself, how you judge your goals, what goals you want to achieve, and you've got to be realistic. So, like, you're seeing these YouTubers withdraw 50, 80, 100, 200K, yeah? 
on these fake live broker accounts and it, it's demoralizing your progress. Stop focusing on these fake accounts. Fake journeys, man. They're all fake journeys because they're not really trading. They're not, they can't actually, like you're not seeing them do like live streams and shit because they can't. They ain't got it. So don't let them, their journey demoralize your journey. Your journey, you're doing probably better than most of these fucking YouTubers out there. Just you're a viewer and you're a trader. They're, you know, these people flashing their lifestyle and stuff. Like, I just don't want you guys to get upset. And like I said, demoralized. I don't want you guys to get demoralized from watching fake gurus post high amounts of money, supercars, this, that, this, that. It's unrealistic. There's a reason why they're doing it. Come on. You see it, you believe it. Look how many people, when they're desperate, it's, it's, it's too easy for them. But allow that. It doesn't matter. Fuck them. They can do whatever they want. In the end of the day, you can't let it demoralize your progress. Don't look at them and think, I'm not there yet. I need to be there. Because they probably aren't even where you are, if you understand what that means. They, who's to say they're better than you? No one. Just because they got a Lamborghini means fuck all. They've just made money, man. They've just made money. They're an entrepreneur who's made money from other side hustles also. Not just forex industry. These people are high profile smart people with multiple companies you know i have multiple companies I don't just trade for a living i've got different businesses on the side you gotta make your money elsewhere also to fund that's why you never quit part-time full-time job to do trading i did both at the same time it was diff difficult don't get me wrong ain't gonna be easy but if you want it you want it if you don't that's fine i want to trade because i know trading is going to be there for a long period of time i hate going and working for other people I'm learning a skill that I know is gonna benefit me in the long run, and when I'm learning this skill, I'm using no one else's signals, no one else helped me. It's all organic, all me, all my own trade, all my own anatomy. So therefore, I'm just hitting Ws every single day. Now, if you are new around here, subscribe, like the video. My trade hasn't hit SL yet. It's close though, it is close. Probably will hit SL to be fair. I need to change the graph as well, allow allowed, because I know the graph's sad. If I'm honest with you, we're 100% probably gonna hit SL. Oh, so minus 1%, I've got two entries for sales and buys that I'm waiting for. Right now, I'm just trading noise, see if I can make some profit before my buy limit or sell limit gets in. And right now, I'm going for the sales. So fingers crossed that actually comes in. Join up the free trades, you'll probably find out on there. I trade all my trades for free. Who needs a paid group anymore? Not me, because I make too much money trading Forex now. So I don't even need a paid group, so join up. And I appreciate your support. I hope this helps. As I said, I'm gonna keep dropping videos and try and support and help as much of you guys as possible. And also myself, I like speaking in front of the camera to viewers and yeah, it just helps me a lot as well. It gets my, gets things off my chest. Like I said, the self development and all that sort of stuff. Like and subscribe. It's been your boy TJ. I hope this has helped. Until next time, catch you guys in a bit. Peace.